Dear friends, this video is chapter 2 of basic skill of hotmix plant safety procedures of hotmix plant. Useful to construction professional and technicians working in construction industry. Here we will discuss about F. Safety guidelines for plant personnel and visitors. B. Proper use of personal protective equipment, PPE. C. Emergency procedures and protocols. We'll now begin discussing a different topic. Of safety guidelines for plant personnel and visitors. Safety is paramount in any industrial setting, including hot mix plants. Hot mix plants involve various potential hazards, such as high temperatures, heavy machinery, and hazardous materials. Here are some safety guidelines for both plant personnel and visitors. For hot mix plant personnel. 1. Personal protective equipment, PPE. Wear appropriate PPE, including helmets, safety goggles, high visibility clothing, heat resistant gloves, steel toed boots, and hearing protection, as needed. 2. Training and education. 2A. Provide thorough training to personnel regarding plant operations, emergency procedures, and safe work practices. 2B. Ensure all employees are aware of potential hazards and understand how to mitigate them. 3. Safe work practices. 3A. Adhere to all operating procedures and guidelines established for the plant. 3B. Never bypass safety devices or guards on machinery. 3C. Use caution around moving equipment, conveyor belts, and rotating parts. 4. Hot materials handling. 4A. Use appropriate tools and equipment when handling hot materials to prevent burns or injuries. Injuries. 4B. Follow proper lifting techniques to avoid strains and injuries. 5. Heat exposure. 5A. Stay hydrated and take frequent breaks in shaded areas, especially during hot weather. 5B. Use cooling vests or other cooling equipment to prevent heat-related illnesses. Sex, fire prevention. 6A. Keep the plant clean and free from debris to reduce fire hazards. 6B. Have fire extinguishers and fire suppression systems in accessible locations. 7. Chemical handling and storage. 7A. Handle chemicals such as asphalt binders with care and use proper ventilation when needed. 7B. Store chemicals according to safety regulations, away from ignition sources. 8. Emergency procedures. 8A. Train personnel on emergency evacuation procedures and the location of emergency exits and assembly points. 8B. Conduct regular drills to ensure everyone knows how to respond in case of emergencies. 4. Visitors. 1. Restricted access. Restrict access to authorized personnel only. Visitors should have a valid reason for entering the plant and be accompanied by a knowledgeable guide. 2. Personal protective equipment, PPE. Provide visitors with appropriate PPE, such as helmets, safety goggles, and high visibility vests. 3. Guided tours. Visitors should be accompanied by a plant representative who can guide them safely through the premises and inform them about potential hazards. 4. Safety Briefing Conduct a safety briefing for visitors before entering the plant. Inform them about the specific hazards and safety protocols they need to follow. 5. Emergency Awareness Brief visitors about emergency procedures, including evacuation routes and assembly points. 6. Restricted Areas Clear, Clearly mark and restrict access to areas with high-risk activities or potential hazards. 7. Supervision. Ensure that visitors are supervised at all times and that they do not engage in any activities that could compromise their safety. Remember that safety practices should be regularly reviewed and updated as needed. Open communication about safety concerns and continuous training are essential for maintaining a safe environment in and around hot mix plants. Be a proper use of personal protective equipment, PPE. 
Personal protective equipment, PPE, is essential in a hot mix plant to protect workers from various hazards such as high temperatures, moving machinery, hot materials, chemicals, and potential accidents. Here's a guide on the proper use of PPE in a hot mix plant. 1. Helmets. Wear a helmet at all times to protect your head from falling objects, overhead hazards, and potential impacts. 2. Safety goggles or face shields. Use safety goggles or face shields to shield your eyes from dust, debris, splashes, and any potential projectiles. 3. High visibility clothing. Wear high visibility vests or clothing to ensure you're easily seen by other workers and machinery operators, especially in areas with moving equipment. 4. Heat resistant gloves. When handling hot materials, use heat resistant gloves to prevent burns or injuries. 5. Respiratory protection. If working in areas with dust, fumes, or chemicals, wear appropriate respiratory protection, such as masks or respirators. 6. Hearing protection. In areas with high noise levels, such as near machinery, use earplugs or earmuffs to protect your hearing. 7. Heat resistant clothing. Wear heat resistant clothing to protect your skin from hot surfaces and materials. Long sleeves and pants can provide additional protection. 8. Steel toed boots. Steel toed boots protect your feet from falling objects and potential crushing hazards. 9. Reflective clothing at night. If working during low light conditions, wear reflective clothing to enhance visibility for both fellow workers and equipment operators. 10. Hard hats with neck protection. In areas with the potential for splashes or hot materials, use hard hats with neck protection to prevent burns to the neck and ears. 11. Cooling vests. In hot weather conditions, cooling vests can help regulate body temperature and prevent heat-related illnesses. 12. Chemical-resistant aprons and boots. When handling chemicals, wear chemical-resistant aprons and boots to prevent contact with hazardous substances. 13. Safety harnesses. When working at heights or in areas with fall hazards, use safety harnesses and lanyards to prevent falls. 14. Proper fitting. Ensure that all PP fits properly and is adjusted according to manufacturer guidelines to provide optimal protection. 15. Regular inspection. Regularly inspect your PPE for damage or wear and replace any damaged items immediately. 16. Training and education. Provide proper training to workers on how to wear, use, and maintain their PPE correctly. 17. Hygiene and care. Properly clean and maintain your PPE to ensure its effectiveness. Wash clothing regularly and store PPE in a clean, dry place. Remember that PPE is only one part of a comprehensive safety program. Proper training, awareness of hazards, and adherence to safety protocols are equally important. If there are specific hazards or requirements at your hot mix plant, consult with safety professionals or supervisors to ensure you're using the appropriate PPE. C. Emergency Procedures and Protocols Emergency procedures and protocols in a hot mix plant are essential to ensure the safety of personnel, visitors, and the facility itself in the event of unexpe- unexpected incidents or accidents. These protocols should be well-defined, communicated clearly to all employees, and regularly practiced through drills. Here's a general outline of emergency procedures for a hot mix plant. 1. Emergency Communication Establish a clear communication system to notify all personnel about emergencies. This may include alarms, sirens, intercoms, or other communication devices. 2. Emergency contacts. Maintain a list of emergency contacts, including local authorities, medical facilities, and plant managers. Ensure all personnel have access to this list. 3. Evacuation procedures. Designate primary and secondary evacuation routes and assembly points. Clearly mark these routes and points throughout the plant. 4. Fire Emergencies 4A. Install fire extinguishers, fire suppression systems, and fire alarms throughout the plant. 4B. Train employees on how to use fire extinguishers and where to find them. 4C. 
Conduct regular fire drills to ensure everyone knows the evacuation procedures. 5. Chemical spills or releases. 5a. Establish procedures for containing and cleaning up chemical spills or releases safely. 5b. Provide spill kits with appropriate materials for containment and cleanup. 6. Medical emergencies. 6a. Have a designated first aid station equipped with essential medical supplies. 6b. Train selected personnel in first aid and CPR. 7. Heat-related illnesses. 7a. Educate employees about the signs and symptoms of heat-related illnesses. 7b. Provide shaded areas, rest breaks, and hydration stations during hot weather. 8. Electrical emergencies. 8a. Establish procedures for addressing electrical hazards, such as power failures or electrical fires. 8b. Train personnel on how to safely handle electrical issues. 9. Equipment failures. 9a. Develop protocols for shutting down and securing malfunctioning equipment to prevent further damage or hazards. 10. Confined space emergencies. 10a. If there are confined spaces in the plant, have procedures for rescuing workers from such areas safely. 11. Natural disasters. 11a. Develop plans for natural disasters like earthquakes, floods, or severe storms. 11b. Establish safe areas or shelters within the plant. 12. Reporting and communication. 12a. In the event of an emergency, establish a clear chain of command for reporting incidents and communicating with management and emergency responders. 13. Regular drills and training. 13a. Conduct regular emergency drills to ensure that all personnel are familiar with evacuation routes and procedures. 13b. Provide training on how to respond to different types of emergencies. 14. Review and improvement. 14a. Regularly review and update the emergency procedures based on lessons learned from drills or actual incidents. Remember that emergency procedures should be tailored to the specific hazards and layout of your hot mix plant. It's crucial to involve all employees in the planning process, communicate the procedures effectively, and encourage a culture of safety and preparedness. Friends, we have explained in brief about safety procedures of hot mix plant of hot mix plant. We request all to mention your view and requirement in comments section of YouTube video also like and share to your friend. Also subscribe our YouTube channel Infra Mechanizer, this is 100% free.